Padme. So we all find it frustrating that after Padme knows she's been targeting, targeted by an assassin, after her ship blows up and kills her double, that she then sleeps in a room with a window facing the outside and the only thing in the room is R2-D2. The cameras are all for any of everything. The fact that these are her decisions and not the Jedi doesn't make it okay. Obviously, there should be more security. And you know what? It's such an easy fix. Have her be in a room deep inside the building with an emergency exit that only she or the Jedi can open and only from inside. Only one door, only one other door goes in there and the two Jedi are standing in front of it. They, they have to clear anyone who goes in or out. She's alone in the room. Someone that it seems could be trusted walks up to the two Jedi, requests going in to see her. Maybe the new body double. Maybe that security guy with an eye patch. And at this point, either they just let them through, or maybe there's some kind of, like, code, password thing that fails. If you still really badly want the worms to attack her and for Anakin to slice them up, you can have her let be through, but then right after, let's say it's the body double who goes in, and, like, as soon as the door closes, they're like, you know, they call up the security guy, and they're like, I mean... Why did you say it was okay for the body double to come in? We specifically requested that no one be allowed entry. And the and the guard is like, I didn't tell her that. You know, she's right here. I'm looking at her right now. Whoever you let in is not the body double. You know, turns out it's, it's the changeling. They run into the room. Anakin chops up the worms. Padme runs out through the emergency exit. Obi-Wan tries to grab the changeling, and something happens that allows her to escape. Let's say she can also change into something tiny, like whatever the Star Wars equivalent of a mouse is, and runs out, everyone chases after her, and at this point, you could still have the action proceed the same as in the movie, if you still really badly want that kind of thing. You know, if you still want the small probe, maybe that's the first thing that the changeling tries to escape on, and you know, as a mouse, and the reason that it blows up is because she uses a self-destruct function in it, and then she goes to a normal ship, Anakin catches up with her normal ship. You can even still have the bar, since George certainly loves referencing the other movies, and it's a very clear reference to the Moss Eisley Cantina. But this means that the security is much better. It uses the fact that you have a changeling assassin in the movie. It means the characters are a lot less gullible. You can even have a password test fail that just means that either the changeling assassin is unable to carry out the attack, or maybe, like, the, you know, they, they manage to, let's see, maybe, yeah, maybe she has this tiny little thing that she can throw through a tiny slit in the door that, you know, as soon as it comes through, it expands, once again, yeah, once, in, once it ends in the room, then it releases the worms, voila, you can still have the chase. Because it's at this point that the changeling changes into a mouse, outruns Obi-Wan. And yes, I'm aware that, you know, in the movie, let's see, Padme, yeah, Padme comes up with the idea of using herself as bait so they can find the assassin. But they don't have to be so reckless about it. Leave a trace of breadcrumbs that leads to that room, but at least put her in that room for safety. Or something equivalent. It doesn't have to be that exact thing, but it certainly can't be a window facing the outside of this like 